the old channel system is no more. The new direct event binding system allows devices to communicate directly with other devices. This also means no channel or receiver limits. If you are feeling stressed, don't worry because in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the new system, what it means for your existing maps, and how it works. Let's get started. So to enable the new event binding system on your map, it's very simple. Currently, you can see we still have the channel system if we interact with the trigger. If you go into your settings under my island tools, you will see the new event system here. And all you have to do is press convert, confirm, and it's done. Now, when you go interact with your trigger, you'll see you have the new events in functions menu. Now, if you're enabling the direct event binding system on an existing map, the good news is it should automatically convert the old channel system for you. But before you enable event binding system on your existing map, you should first duplicate your island and test it. And that is because once you convert your map, it is permanent. You cannot go back to the channel system. Lastly, Epic has said event binding is currently optional, but in the future, it will be default. So it's not a bad idea to start converting your maps sooner than later. What is event binding? Instead of transmitting and receiving signals, devices use events and functions. When a device activates or a player performs an action, that is an event. Events trigger other devices to do a certain thing or a condition. Those actions or conditions are functions. You bind an event in one device to a function in another device. How it works. Instead of assigning channels, direct event binding uses device names to specify events and functions that occur between multiple devices. Devices are automatically assigned unique identifiers once placed. Make sure to rename your devices as it will make designing your map much, much easier. Let's build a simple light switch mechanic so you can get a better idea of how this works. So to set it up, you basically just need a trigger button or I'm gonna use the switch device since it has dual functionality. And also we're gonna use the customizable light device. You can find it in the customizable light gallery. We are still using the channel system. And so in the old way to turn this light on, you would interact with the switch. You would go over to the channel section and when turned on, we'll just use channel one. And when turned off, we'll just use channel two. And then you would need to go over to your light device and go to the channel section again and turn on from channel one and turn off from channel two. Now, when we interact, it turns it on. And when we interact again, it will turn it off. All right, we're just gonna create that same turning on a light mechanic, but with the new event binding system. So let's go under my island tools and under the event system, let's convert. All right, now let's place down a switch in that customizable light device. All right, now we're just gonna set up the switch so when we turn it on, it turns the light on, and then when we turn it off, it's just gonna turn the light off. So let's interact with the switch. Let's go under the events tab, and under the events tab, you're kind of gonna see a similar looking setting. When this switch turns on, we want it to signal to that light to turn it on, So let's click add. All right, now we need to select that actual device it's gonna talk to. Okay, let's look. Um, I actually have a lot of devices in here, a lot of customizable lights. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, so this actually brings me up for my next point. It's very crucial that you rename your devices now. This is just gonna make your workflow a lot easier and help you, especially with more complex mechanics. So let's go back to this customizable light that we know we wanna turn on, interact with it, and in the lower left cog, um, rename it. So I'm just gonna put near stage, Okay, perfect. All right, let's go back to our switch, interact with it. Under the events tab again, let's turn this on, let's add. Um, let's try to find that customizable light. It's still a huge list. So here's a little hack up top. You can actually click this in search. So I'm gonna look for near, and there it is. Customizable light near stage, perfect. That's what I want. All right, now we actually have to select a function. So we set the event. Now, what do we want this to do? So we want this to turn on. All right, now we need to set up the turn off event. So I'm gonna add again here, I'm gonna select the device and the function to turn off. Uh, oh, wait a second, I, I accidentally selected the wrong device. Let me show you how to actually remove it. It's very simple. After you've done this, if you just click it, it's gonna bring up another HUD, basically saying if you wanna delete it and boom, you can delete it and it's done. Um, now we can reselect again. So let's go find that near stage device. 
there it is perfect and the function we want for this one is to be turned off that is great if we were actually to go over to the near stage light and we click under the functions tab you're actually going to see it's already populated from the switch so it doesn't actually matter which device you set up it's going to link and it's going to read so um, let's actually test this out and see if it works turns on turns off it's very very simple all right now you're maybe thinking what happens if i like duplicate or copy this device what happens let me show you this is probably the coolest thing about this i'm going to multi-select and make a copy and if we interact you're going to see it actually added the number two to it and the same for the switch it's switch number two so when you actually copy a mechanic it is smart and it will duplicate it for you and it will disconnect it from the other system instead of previously where it was stayed connected let me show you how it works it works when you turn it off and you turn it on you turn this one on turn it off it's not connected it's so cool and especially in complex mechanics this is going to save so much time i just wanted to show you guys a simple mechanic i didn't want to overwhelm anyone just get your hands dirty check it out it's really not that bad and i think it really will help speed up our workflow especially with more complex mechanics if you made it this far in the video please hit that like button it helps this video grow in the algorithm i'm immature gamer and i'm out